Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ben Serretta with a movie review for Halloween. Now much recently I've seen the movie House of Frankenstein. And I liked it. Now honestly that's not the whole review, I'm just giving you a basis of what I actually think of it. But for the rest of the review, here's what I'm going to say. When I watched this movie House of Frankenstein, what was really intriguing me was the fact that before, way before this, I wanted to make a Dracula vs. Frankenstein movie of my own. Now this review wasn't really going to be about Dracula vs. Frankenstein. But really, it was the reason why I wanted to watch this movie. Also for other reasons, but I think we'll get into that later. If I accidentally start talking about it, we'll talk about it, okay? But anyway, I'll just talk about House of Frankenstein first. Now about the plot, and what led me to making um, Dracula vs. Frankenstein, we'll get into that in a second. But first, I'll let you know about the plot is of uh, House of Frankenstein first. So in the movie, Dracula is played not by Bela Lugosi, but John Carradine. He was starring in a bunch of other movies in the 50s and of course the 60s, I think later on as well. So, and also, Frankenstein's monster is not even played by Boris Karloff. The Doctor is played by For Boris Karloff, which I found pretty odd considering that he, pl he himself, Boris Karloff, played the monster since 1931, but now he just plays the Doctor. And I sort of wonder why, considering that Boris Karloff is iconic as a Frankenstein monster, but I think I might know why, but this is just an assumption. Maybe because Boris Karloff was getting tired of playing the Frankenstein monster at that point. I'm not sure, I'm just that's just an assumption. I get pretty tired of playing something if I were um, around that time too. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but you know. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, with the Wolfman, he's played by Lun Cheney Jr. Who is um who I recognize most from the movie The Cyclops directed by Bird Eye Gordon. But unlike that movie, Lun Cheney Jr. is more recognizable in um, the Wolfman movies by Universal. So about the movie House of Frankenstein, I like everything about it. There's um the Frankenstein monster is of course not played by Boris Karloff, but Glenn Strange. That's pretty strange. I'll make it basic. Dracula um, appears in the first act. I think the Wolfman appears in the middle, and the Frankenstein monster appears in the last. That's just what I think. And there are other appearances of uh, other quote unquote monsters. I don't think a hunchback or a doctor is really a monster. Really, they're just uh, people. But really, I'm not even sure what's was paying attention the whole time, mainly because of the fact that I was only using this film as research to make other movies. Well, I'll get into that also in a second. Yeah, I keep saying that. I'm sorry, but it's just... It, it, I'm not really keeping track of what I'm saying. I'm not even reading off a script, but yeah, I'll we'll have to keep going. Now, really, like I said, I'm not really into the Universal Monster movies, but this movie and the concept of Dracula vs. Frankenstein has probably changed my mind. I've considered making a reboot or remake of this concept, but really, I don't even feel like I should do it, mainly because someone else might. Especially if they were a movie studio. Even if I didn't make it. It might be better than my own. And I think I understand how the classic Universal Monster fans actually felt when the classic Frankenstein monster and the classic Dracula didn't even fight each other at all in the classic Universal films. They just didn't. I wonder why they just didn't. Everyone wanted to see it. Now, how's the Frankenstein? The only reason I wanted to watch it was because I wanted to do research on how they did it back then so I could modernize it. The reason I'm doing this is because audiences back then were more scared than they are today. Mainly because of impressionism. And how things age, I think at least. And I wanted to see how they did it back then because I just wanted to modernize it. So now I'm researching this movie to see how they did it back then and I tried to like See what was so scary for audiences back then, probably. And of course, like I said, modernize it. But of course, this is for other films. Of course, for not the film I've mentioned a lot. It's for my own films. Future films. So anyway, Igor, I think that's the hunchback's name, is tormented by his boss, the creator of the Frankenstein monster. And at least Igor... 
Okay, look, I don't really want to spoil it, even if it's just a classic like this. Not everyone has seen every movie. Even people of today have not even seen this, I think. Not everyone has seen it. So please respect my words when I really mean this, but I will not spoil this to you. Even if you've seen it, so I'm not really going to spoil it to you. Okay, let's go back to Dracula vs. Frankenstein. The concept that inspired me to really watch this movie, mainly because back in the 40s or whenever, I knew when these movies came out, but I'm not sure which exactly when this idea really sprung about. But, and really, um, I was doing this for research, but I'm going to stick to Dracula vs. Frankenstein for now. I knew there was a movie in the 70s that... That was called Dracula vs. Frankenstein and some other movies called Dracula vs. Frankenstein. But they weren't really that good and I don't even plan on watching them. My Dracula vs. Frankenstein would have dealt with the Frankenstein monster being cased in an iceberg and basically being freed from global warming and roaming around modern society and, and Dracula would just be in the castle. Would be hunted down by someone and it would just be a basic Dracula story, and somehow the Frankenstein monster and Dracula would cross paths and fight each other. I don't know how, but I haven't fully conceived the idea, but I'm not even sure if it would fully develop and become a real thing because someone else might do it, especially, like I said, a movie studio. Anyway, enough of my rambling on personal stuff. If you would watch House of Frankenstein, I'm sure you would enjoy it. It's a universal monster classic, Everyone, I'm sure, loves Universal Classic Monsters. So if you haven't given it a try, go ahead. Don't worry about me not spoiling to you. You'll spoil yourself by just watching it. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's all I can say. So yeah. I hope you guys have a good one. Happy Halloweenies. Yeah, I just said that. Anyway, bye.